Hey guys, it's Abethium Toys and today here we are with what's hopefully going to be a informative video. We have Lego versus Funho. Now, hopefully I'm going to be answering quite a few questions. Well, there's actually few questions, but they're very, very important. And I'm going to be using the old fishing store here on the left, which I consider to be Peak Lego. And I'm going to be explaining why it's Peak Lego and why is that relevant to this fun hole set right here. We're using the old saloon from their Western theme because it's just really, really damn amazing. Now you are going to notice that there is a brick missing here. I have it here because we're going to be comparing the brick quality of that to one from this set. Now, this feels identical. This is one of the biggest, biggest questions that people have. How is the brick quality? Guys, it's absolutely identical. Now, I chose these uh, smooth bricks here because, well, you know, the usual studs, they have the they have the Lego logo on it. So that is kind of a dead giveaway. And uh, when you look at this set right here, sorry, Look at this. Look at the amount of details. You would be hard pressed to know that this, in fact, is not Lego. Now, obviously, I am keeping the minifigures off. Sorry about that dragging sound. It's the USB. We're going to be turning this on because it comes with lights. And this is one of the biggest, most amazing differences that uh, Funhole does and Lego doesn't. Now, right here, speaking of minifigures, this is a Lego minifigure. It's just a little skeleton that I put here near the bush because he has lost a little duel. Okay, so this is peak Lego. The old fishing store to me is peak Lego mostly because it was designed by Lego fans for the fans. You can see this insane amount of detail on the facade, on everything, and just look at these things side by side. Fanjo is absolutely designed by fans for the fans, just like Lego Ideas, because to me, Lego Ideas is just peak Lego in many ways, and the Lego themselves, their vanilla sets and themes, they just feel like they are falling behind a little bit. Now, obviously, we have said that uh, this set right here, it can be turned on. And here we have it. The fun hole set is completely lit up. Now, obviously, this is going to be one of the two biggest differences. I say two because the price is actually going to be a massive, massive talking point. Now, at first, let's just uh, have a look here. Please excuse this uh, cable there in the back because I'm just using the USB option to power this. You can also use batteries, but we have to go here in the back to show you this Sheer magnificence. Guys, look at this. This is a saloon. This is a living, breathing thing. There is a bar there. The chandelier is lit up. The details are packed. So we're not just talking about the lights that they have made. The details are just absolutely insane. I'm going to be linking the review to this set uh, at the end of this video if you want to check it out, you know, more in depth. And uh, oh my goodness, guys, why I am showing you this right here. And uh, why did I pick the... Old Fishing Store, because to me, personally, Old Fishing Store is the best Lego set. And it just falls this much behind after Fun Hole because you cannot light it up. Now, through some clever little DIY, you know, we are going to be lighting up the Old Fishing Store. So let's have a look. And here we have it, guys. The Old Fishing Store has been lit up and now side by side with this Fun Hole Western uh, set, it's even more indistinguishable which one is actually Lego, which one is in fact Fun Hole. Now, here is the thing. I say again, peak Lego set, but it falls behind through this simple sheer ability to be lit up. And uh, Fun Hole sets, doesn't matter how small they are, how cheap they are, they always, always come with the ability to be turned on and completely lit up. And that is just simply astounding. So if the quality of the plastic, of the bricks, of the design, of everything is the same between these two, we come down to the price. The price difference is staggering. Lego has been just on this <laughs> price hike and it's just insane. My goodness, guys, it just doesn't feel worth it. And uh, <laughs> oh my God, these guys offer you so much for the money with the ability to light up these sets, something that if the Lego sets had, it can actually, it would actually 
increase the price of a lego set up to 50 percent or even more god forbid so if these sets are equal in quality what is going to be distinguishing them lighting up and the price i just bought one of their new sets is going to be on the channel a review as well cyberpunk apartments guys i bought that for 120 euros obviously it was a discount funhole has discounts constantly on their website on the amazon page i'm going to be leaving some links in the description but hopefully i was able to just answer a few questions what is the whole thing lego versus funhole quality absolutely the same doesn't have lights is overpriced guys i do recommend that you go and check out funhole their sets have this flair and creativity that is just unparalleled honestly prices are amazing they're doing these themes that lego just doesn't give a fuck about pardon my french but i always wanted always always wanted these uh you know western sets and these guys have just been delivering just bought two more western sets a train a train station guys hopefully you're gonna be checking this out hopefully i managed to help someone with some questions about uh fun hole and lego the differences and uh, consider subscribing maybe i'm gonna be seeing you in the next one bye bye